My name is Andy Morgan from Weed Steamers. My business partner, Tim Farrell, and I are the licensees for Weed Techniques for the Greater Melbourne region. In this video, you'll observe a combined effort in conjunction with organic matter solutions to treat gorse and possibly other invasive weed species chemically free. Gorse, the pioneer plant. Today, we're going to try and eradicate this plant chemically free. We're going to go through a method that hasn't been trialled before where we'll incinerate it on site with a mobile incinerator and from that process afterwards we will follow up with a steam treatment and run over the ground of all the seed matter that's, that's left and completely annihilate any germinated seeds that's available. This uh, particular device behind me is a air curtain burner burn boss. It's a pollution control device that reduces all the particle size and smoke and minimises any impact on the environment. It uses minimal amount of uh, fuel, so therefore its environmental footprint is tiny. The fuel itself the wood or wheat to put in there actually burns itself up, that is the fuel. We will then follow up with some steam applications at 110 Celsius to go over the ground completely. Any seed that's left that has germinated, we will instantly kill that. And we're hoping to probably do that two to three times a year and we'll keep the data available so you can follow us in this solution. It's an incredible problem for farmers in these areas because it loves to grow in disturbed ground and as you can see the, it blankets out any fertile ground underneath and just continually disperses its seed onto farmland areas and the problem just becomes a hundredfold. Let's look at these two patches over here that a farmer has been working on for the last three years. The first area that we'll look at is an area that was completely burnt out and then a chemical applied not long after. As we can observe, the taller canes seem to be protecting the gorse, which we're seeing lots of new growth growing internally inside of these plants. Brand new growth that's coming through, and this is the third year this is now happening. From the fire, we are seeing also is the throw outs of the seed which is around the perimeters of the area as well so they're, they're going out to probably five meters from the center so we're getting lots of tiny little juvenile plants coming through as we can see and uh, they are mounting to you know three or four or five per square meter of area this is another great area to look at what we've seen here is an area that was burnt out five years ago as well and we're seeing the remnants of the gorse growing up through the burn as well but that's competing with all these eucalypts and the gums as well so this is a great area I see for steam control because what we can do in this area is we can come through and cut down the gorse throughout the gum and then steam the areas and help promote the gums to overshade in time the gorse so this is a project we're also working on as well. But as you can see, the taller of the gum seems to be working and we're hoping that we can encourage that growth to shade out the gorse plants. So today we are using a totally chemical free process. There is no chemicals involved whatsoever or no disturbance of the ground. So we'll keep you informed of the data we collect today to show you and prove that it can be done chemically free.